Fall is actually really in the air right now. It is. Look at those trees. Oh my gosh. Or that one tree. Well, you can't <laughs> see everything behind us, but we'll, we'll put some video in here so you guys can fully grasp how beautiful this area is that we're in. But we are in the mountains in Colorado. Somehow I convinced Bill to go leaf peeping with me. She did. I love leaf peeping. <laughs> I can't handle it. It's so beautiful. But today, besides leaf peeping, we actually want to tell you our favorite fall whiskeys for this year. And before we get into that, we want to thank today's awesome video sponsor, Into the AM. Oh yeah! Yeah, they got these awesome fall collection out. I got my uh, little flannel jacket, shacket, hoodie thing. I think this thing it's is so badass. cute. It looks so good on you. Yeah, I was I was expecting it to be a little bit different than this, but it it it's freaking awesome. It's got some nice liner in it, so it's it's not crazy cool and it's not crazy warm. It's kind of an in the middle thing. The perfect perfect, perfect fall. for fall. I think it's really good for layering oh, and yeah. it's soft. Oh yeah, I got my Into the AM shirt on too. <laughs> <laughs> but also. So I have an Into the AM hoodie on, which I love this hoodie. It's the waffle knit one, which if you guys, you can't see it up close, but it has this really cool waffle. Go up close and show it. Okay. It has this <laughs> really cool waffle knit pattern on it. And I like it because it's like thin enough for the warmer fall days, like today, which, you know, earlier it was like in the 40s. Now it's in like the 60s, 70s. So it's a pretty warm fall day for the mountains, but I love this new Into the AM hoodie. I like it because it's basic, it's soft, and it's a great color. I'm a big fan of the green olive color. There's also some black ones too, which I might get. But yeah, we love our fall outfits from Into the AM. So thank you so much for being our video sponsor today. And if you guys want to check out their fall collection, which I really highly recommend that you do, go check it out. And when you check out, use code the average drinker and the link is link actually is below. it's in it's below in the description so you can check it out there all right now back to the fall stuff that we're talking about the fall more fall stuff Ooh, fall. <laughs> as i have coffee in my hand and a cigar you <laughs> yeah well, i had a cigar it went out on me oh. <laughs> we'll get it fixed later but uh whiskeys fall whiskeys so we have like eight of them or something? i don't even remember what the quantity is right now we, we just have, got stuff we got fall whiskeys okay I think it's eight <laughs> so we, we went through our, our cabinet, our shelves. We decided, you know what? These are the ones we really want to drink this fall. So mm -hmm. let's pull them out. Let's All right, so out. let's, uh, let's, let's start with number one. I'm going to pull out this one, Knob Creek. And you think this is a uh, bourbon. It's not. It's a Knob Creek rye pick. These things, I, I fell in love with these this past year. And this is the year of the rye. You're going to notice that with some of these bottles in here. You're the rye, so why not ride that into fall? Right. But, <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> so <laughs> Knob Creek store pick uh, rye, 115 proof. They and, and you also want a little bit more proof in the fall. It's starting to get cold. You want to warm your soul a little bit. Go with this. It's full of flavor, too. Oh, That's so, why I like it. So, they're so full of flavor, and they're like 50 to 60 bucks. I like this better than the 10-year the ten year, the yeah. ten year rye. So, yeah, the store pick, 115 proofers, can't go wrong with them. All right, I'm going to bring out the next bottle, and the next so bottle... I'm going to bring it out and give it to her. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the next bottle is Barrel Batch 36. Get up closer to that thing. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm, like, scared of the camera out here. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Okay, Barrel Batch 36. I'm excited to dive into this one a little bit more in the fall because of what we've had of it, we so like so freaking delicious. Far. It's so really, it's really, really good. It's loaded with, like, a lot of richer peppery, peppery er, notes. Yeah. And even when we had it, or we, we have the bottle, we had it at the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Festival, too. It's so freaking good. So good. So we're going to drink a lot more of this in the fall. I think I, it's going to pair really well with cigars for us, too. I, this is one of my favorite barrel bourbon batches, 36. Yes. And full transparency, they did send us this bottle a while ago. We did do a review of it, but it, it, this is an awesome bottle. It is. So go <laughs> check out the review if you haven't seen the review yet. But I know, like, from being at Kentucky Bourbon Fest, a lot of people were talking about this batch, saying it was their favorite. Yep, yep it is so damn good. It's really good. That was number two. We're going to go with number three. What are we going to go with? Uh, we're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with this one. Boom. Ooh. So... Not this particular bottle, but along these lines. So what this is a Southern Collective Spirit Company, straight rye whiskey, so it's a 95.5, finished in maple casks. So pull this one up here. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's- Sugar Mama? Yeah, Sugar Mama for Southern Collective. So where I'm saying not quite this whiskey, cause I don't know if you'll necessarily find this one, but I think rye whiskey's finished in maple barrels. I love them. I so love them too. Rye whiskey's finished in maple. Maple is fall to me. 
So you pair that rye, which goes so well with this, this fall oh i this bottle's gonna get finished this fall Let's just definitely it, it definitely <laughs> is i do love like you said maple finish in the fall yeah, i'm not maple usually, finish rise if you can find any pick them up drink them you're gonna love them i'm not usually a big like maple finished person at all but something about drinking it in the fall definitely it piques my interest not maple finished bourbon maple finished rye maple finished rye <laughs> All right, put that one away. All Get right. another one. What do you? Oh, you, you you wanted this one in here. Let's go with this. Oh yes. Okay. I actually. Well, it is going to get colder, so I really love this bottle. I love this bottle. It's so. It's a shelfer, which is awesome. It is a shelfer. This is the Green River Foolproof Bourbon. I like the foolproof rye too, or not the foolproof rye, the regular rye yeah. actually, the standard <laughs> rye. But the Green River Foolproof. First of all, it's got a little bit more proof on it. So on those cold nights, those cooler fall nights, you can drink this. But I just have been so surprised and so shocked by this bottle i think yep. this is one of the most surprising releases of 2024 yeah. overall and th there's been some really good green river single barrels too that we've had that just we've fallen in love with absolutely fantastic so if you see this one on the shelf which you're pick likely going to see on the shelf pick it up i think it's 50 to 60 something bucks like that. something like that yeah so pick this one up it's going to keep you warm and it's great and it is just a really good classic bourbon oh yeah uh on to the next one we're oh she said something about keeping you warm Oh, Boom. Ha, ha. shameless plug. This is our pick from Evernorth, the creamy maple buns. Oh, another maple-ish. So, again, yeah, where I'm going with this one. Yeah, the maple-ish, yeah. I wasn't planning <laughs> that part, but light whiskeys. <laughs> light whiskeys will keep that soul warm. I think they're a great fall pour. They have that cream soda -y flavor. But yeah, if you can find a light whiskey that's just really good to drink in the fall, keep you warm around a fire, just anytime. <laughs> it's going to it's gonna light your soul on fire. Oh, yeah. So It might. Light whiskey. Light whiskey. All right. So before we get to the last one, because I know we got two, two more, three, three more. three more, something like that. Okay, before we get to the next ones, because I don't want to forget this part. This is the most important part. This is why you're here. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let us know if you like these out and about videos that we do. We've kind of like taken a new adventure. Tired take, of sitting in our basement. We're tired of sitting in our dark basement. We want to get out and we want to go do the things we love doing while showcasing the bourbon that we love to drink. So, <laughs> you are so strange. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and let's tell you the rest of the bottles. Yes. All right, here we go. What fall video would be a fall video without this bottle? Oh gosh. Boom! There oh, you go. Okay. This is the ultimate- Camera, close. Ultimate, <laughs> this is the ultimate fall bottle. I mean, I feel like we've never done a fall video without including this bottle. And this is the Sagamore Double Oat Rye. It's it's literally it's, s'mores, it's rye, fall, whiskey, campfire, everything. It's the campfire whiskey. It's perfect. It's delicious. You can usually find it on the shelf. It's not super expensive. Yeah, I don't even remember what price it is. Sixty-ish dollars. To, yeah. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's somewhere think in that so. range. <laughs> Anyhow, I love it. I'm going to drink the heck out of this this fall. Uh, I love it with a cigar. I've definitely had it with cigars mm -hmm. before. I think it pairs great with those. So if you like cigars, drink it with this. I mean, smoke them with this, whatever. Yeah. Anyhow, this is a really good one, so add this one to your list. Do it. All right, what do we got next? Oh, we got to get our, our other bag. Ooh, here you go. This one, riding the rye train. Oh, rye. So these are becoming more prevalent, I think. So these are the wild turkey picks. So Ooh. the 101 picks, the private barrel selection there in the Kentucky Spirit type bottles. So this one we just picked up uh, recently, mm -hmm. and I've had a little bit of it, not much, but I was like, oh, this is sweet. It's delicious. It's very sweet. Yeah. It's it, good. It kicks a shit out of regular 101 rye. Find these private selections. I know the other day, I think there was some on Bourbon Outfitter, uh, Rare Birds. Oh, yeah. Rare Bird has one on I don't there. know if they're still on there anymore. Um, if they are, use our code on there. <laughs> yeah, the average drinker at checkout, yep. you'll save but, 5%. But uh, yeah, if you can find these, uh, the private select rise from Wild Turkey, they they're, look, they're delicious. Again, they look like Kentucky Spirit bottles. They look like yeah, Almost Kentucky like Spirit, a rare, rare breed, breed that yeah. same bottle style. Yep. They're just really good. Delicious. Yep. All right, now we're down to the last bottle. Ah. Last bottle, what we got? I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. It's not the So end. this is going to be the most expensive on the list. Sorry. But this might be one of the best bourbons of the year. And that is Bardstown Discovery Series 12. If you guys know, you know. If you've tried this one, you know how good it is. It's absolutely fantastic. 
freaking tastic. And the reason we're going to drink so much of it this fall. We've already drank a lot of it. Well, we've already <laughs> drank a lot of it. But also, we've just been loving this bottle. Yep. So we're probably just going to keep drinking it. We're going to buy gonna another, another one. And we're going to drink that one too. But this one is one we have just fallen in love with. It's got sweet, dark flavors to it. It, it just... It, Cherry, fruit, yeah, everything. Creamy. It, it, we're going to drink it a lot this fall, but I think it's a good anytime pour too. Oh, so. yeah. Any time of the year. But especially in the fall, just because, well, it's, um, it's fall now and we're already drinking a lot of it. So we're going to continue drinking a lot of it. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't watched the review on this one, go back and watch it. I definitely think that this is going to finish in the top 10 bourbons of the year for 2024. Possibly. We'll see what happens, but I think I've got a good feeling about it. So there's that. That's the last so, yeah, bottle. That's our last bottle. The eight we have. We have eight. I, I lost count in there, but that's what we've got. So I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to say to you guys, no. but thank you what, so much. What oh. bottles are you drinking this fall? Yeah. What are you drinking this fall? Let us know in the comments. Tell us your favorite fall pour and one that you want to go pick up that you haven't picked up yet. Cause I'm curious about that. Like, are uh, there any? Parkers. Oh, <laughs> I want Parkers. I do want that one. I do. All right. Well, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying the fall brilliance with us. We're going to throw in some video too, so you can check out yeah, all I'm of that. Yeah, probably try to fly around a drone here in a minute. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. We'll see you next time right back here on The Average Drinker. Mm -hmm.